Okay, hello, this is a tutorial on how to use what is this Live Interior Pro. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of start from the top. When you open it up and you make a new session, you will see this, okay? If you don't, this is where, um, I'll go through all the different parts of the screen. This right here is where things, there's doors, columns, windows, openings, niches, this is for like the actual construction of stuff. So when you drag this in, you can get a door, things of that nature. Um, this right here button with a little thing is where the furniture is. So if you can see, this is like a list of armchairs and you can drag that in. This right here, these are the list of your elements um, that you use to see. It could be a wall or a chair or something like that. You'll need to see them, not see them, or lock them. This right here, the things that you can draw, um, and uh, that, I'm sorry, this is a wall right here. So as you're looking at this, this is the wall, <laughs> and I'll show you that in a second. This is for creating a floor, and you draw it, and then basically creates a floor, ceiling, things of that nature. This is for, um, this is what you're going to use to measure or add text, and then this has to do with photography and some other things. Now. Let me just give you a couple other things you need to know. Um, this is where you are going to, this is when you draw a wall, these are the parameters for your wall, okay? Now, also, when you like touch a piece of furniture, this section will change, and you can change the si size and shape of the furniture and things of that nature. Maybe not shape, but the size of it. Okay, so this is your materials, and this is your skins. So let's say if you have a cube, then you can go to Polish Floor Tiles and you can drag one of these on a side and that'll make you have tile. If you want it to be brick, then there's your list of bricks. I you know, tend to use here's glossy paint and you can double push down and get all these different colors. So you can just kind of go through there and you'll learn all the different things. Now I also import things. That's just something you're gonna have to figure out. I don't wanna have time to go through that. This right here, um, as for if you do use text, what you'll do. This right here is for making you know, those 3D movies you saw me make, and that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna do that, and I will go through that. This is your lighting. So you can, when you're in 3D mode, you will go through your lighting, and this is like things like how tall the height of it is. Okay, I know I'm going fast, but I'll be going back through. Over here, where it says views, um, this is for like, this is, split this if you go to your left which is my cursor the left screen that is your um two-dimensional view imagine like what an architect sees this is kind of like what you see in a movie if you push this button over here up here in the views that is going to be your actual views of what it looks like and i'll show you there now the other really cool thing is this um the inspector is this thing on the right it's popping in and out but the Google Warehouse is the bomb because you can kind of look for just about anything you wanted. And if somebody else has looked for it, I don't even have internet right now. So I better get that going. I should have internet. Okay. Wait. So what you would do is you type it in and then you can download it. Like let's say you say uh, 3D person. And then you hit the download button when you get a well, you're going to see it. My internet's obviously going really slow. And you can, like, scan through and see all these humans, you know, and then you can download them into your thing. Sometimes they are not the right size. Some of these people are, like, 50 feet tall, and it looks kind of funny. So let's make something. The first thing you're going to do is um, here is a wall. So I'm just going to make this a real basic wall. I'm going to go from here to there. If you look, when I move this, um, right now it says 25 feet, and so that becomes a, a wall. Now I let go of the mouse, and then it stops, but it's still on. So then I push again and hold, and while I'm holding, I can go this way. Okay, we'll go a little farther. Let go of the mouse, then I push down the mouse and hold again, and we can make this and let's just make it a funky shape just because it'll be easier to tell what's going on all right all right double click at the end 
If you look over here, I got a little box that kind of shows what this thing is made of. Also, to zoom in, I remember it's um, hit Apple, probably control on a um, PC, and then the plus sign. Hopefully, I don't know if you have the same functions if you have a PC. Now, if you want to go into this room, this little thing is showing you where you are. But first, let's just throw a couple pieces of random furniture in there, just for perspective. So I'm going to grab this Felba, and I put it right there. Now I can see that it's in the corner. I want to go like that. And I'm going to turn it. Now if you look to the right, I'm on the inspector. I'm on this whole thing here. This rotates it. Okay. This thing here is so you can figure out where you want it glued by, like if you want it glued by the floor. Sometimes I make things I want, you know, floating. So let's just take this stupid thing and put it right here, and we will spin it around so they're facing each other. Now, for the heck of it, I'm going to copy this, highlight it. For me, it's Apple C. Put a few of these around. V, V, Apple V, Apple V. Now, we're going to go inside. And this, is, if you look all the way to the top right, this is the thing that allows you to go inside. So, this is our chairs and things like that. As you scan down, this will show you where these chairs are. And I can do a lot of these things from in here. So let's take this sucker and move it here. Let's turn this sucker around and put it back on this wall. Okay, now let's make it larger than life. So I can enlarge that. If I take the maintain the level, I can make it really skinny, which you'd never do with a couch, but it just gives you an idea, okay, of what's going on. So you can manipulate shapes with this. Now, elevation is how high it is, and sometimes you find the need for taking things and raising them up, okay? Again, this spins it around. When you start playing with this thing, then you'll just start, it'll start coming naturally. Now, let's just take this little thing here, and let's change the color. Let's change it to violet blue, okay? Let's go to the right and take this chair right here, and so I can take a skin of whatever I want, a fabric. You know, I can take this crazy fabric, it could be that. And you could do anything. So in other words, if you want it to be glass, you can make it glass. So, which is weird. So I'm going to hit delete and just delete that thing. But let's do something with the walls. Because walls are obvious, right? So let's just um, get a glossy paint and we'll just pick a random color. I want this red violet. There we go. Okay. Let's make the other one brick. How about wood? Make the floor wood. Okay. With this dark nut wood, and then let's go over here and find the bricks, and let's find a, a red brick, and we'll just put that. Oops, the ceiling is brick. That would be weird. All right, so here we go. There's a brick. All right, um, let's make this one stone. All right, and there you go. Now, we can come in, and let's put a. Let me think. Lamps. Lamps actually light up, and I'll show you how that works. So let's just take these and put it on the ceiling. Okay, now I'm going to highlight this and just hit copy. We're just going to randomly place these things around, okay? See, I'm just hitting Apple V, stuff like that, okay? Now, up here the far left, this turns the lights off. If you wanted to see what this looked like with the lights on, what you can do is come over here. It's a little inspector. Hopefully you can see this. And then you can go to nighttime. Come back over here where it says 3D quality and hit the middle one. And then there you go. So you can get to the point where you render things. You put things in, like I'll put a lamp in. And sometimes it just, you can see it like shine on the wall. So it's making a little light on the wall. Put another lamp in here. Okay, it's making a lamp too. Right here, this is a um, this is a track light. So you can highlight that and spin it. Make it so it actually shoots on the wall. It's kind of hard. So there's kind of a spot. It's not great. The lights can act weird. The lights can actually go through things and act weird. But to make it simpler, I'm going to turn the lights off, turn the sun off, 
to go back to 3D mode. Because when it's in the other mode, you get a lot of things that can really stock up. Um, let's say you want to paint this molding. And let's make it black. Let's use this black brown like that. That's how you do it. Just drop it right on there. Now, other things that have to do with construction. That would be up in here. All right, so you take a window, drag it, and now it's right there, and you can, I think you can even move it in 3D mode. So that's it. So let's drive through it, move around with this thing. You can see what those controls do, and we've got a window on the outside. So it's kind of cool. It's grass, brick, it's grab a door, whatever. Let's get a glass door, throw it on there. Now, I'm going to go to nighttime by this little nighttime thing. Like this, and turn the lights on. Look, it's bright on the inside. I always think that's cool. So, go like that. Now, let's look at how high this thing is. So, it says it's 12 feet high. A lot of places are not that high, so maybe your house is 9 feet. So, now we'll make it 9 feet. And this window's got to come down. Okay, let's go ahead and throw another type of, those are all doors. That's, I'm sorry, that's a sliding glass door. So I guess get rid of that. Let's go back to windows. All right, let's put a window here. And let's put another kind of window here. Kind of move these around. Now you can see, we go to 2D mode. All right, so when we go to 2D mode, that's going to be in this little thing over here. All right, and this is where they're at. So you can also mess with these things here and try to get them centered in another way. If that makes sense. Another thing that um, comes in handy is walls and floors. So let's take this over here. Let's put this chair over here. And let's make a floor. So what we're going to do is let's say you have a raised floor area. For me, it's always a stage. So let's put a stage right here. So I'm driving from here to there, here to there, here to here, and double click. Okay, there's my stage. Now we got to go to the inspector, and I want this thing to be three feet up. And there I go. It's three feet up. Let's go to 3D mode, and let's go inside. You can kind of see it from the outside. Ding. Okay, so there it is. Now, I want my house, because now it's a theater, 14 feet high. All right, so now it is. And I want to paint these walls black because that's what theaters would be. Dink, dink, shink. So would actually the ceiling. So now we got a nice theater. Front would be black also. The stage would be wood. I come over here. Let's just put this Bulgarian nut wood on it. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go find some people. Let's take somebody. 3D, let's change this to human. H-U-M-A-N. Search. Man, it's taking a long time. My internet is slow, slow, slow. And I'm not editing this for you guys, sorry. 3D person, I put 3D human. Fine. We're at the ballerina. There are some better ones, but uh, come on. Why is it in that so ridiculously slow? Hmm, do not know. Okay. But phew, never mind. Well, you can download things. All right. That's all you need to know. Let's make some other things like um, doors, stairs. Stairs are really complicated. Just want to warn you, but the idea is the stairs are supposed to drop and they're supposed to go up to the top. Okay, let's make them wood. Okay, and then that would be them. Now, I have trouble because to me, they don't look like they're symmetrical, etc. etc. I'll put a different kind of wood here. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's kind of weird. It kind of freaks me out. But now, if we want to put a second story on this home, what we can do is go back to this little house, 
go back to this thing here, it says add a second story. Now we have a second story and I can either edit this or I can edit that. If I want to edit the second story, come over here and the stairs are right here as you can see, I'll draw new walls. So what we can do is pretend like this doesn't go as far back, like this story isn't as big or something like that. Darn it. Okay, remake a new wall, push hold, this, this, like a little less, okay. Double click, makes a wall. Let's go in. So we're on the second story. And this is our upstairs now. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm gonna push this button and we're gonna go down the level. Is that cool? I love this. Also, I can tilt. Okay, let's go up again. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so you can get an idea. It's great for getting an idea what things are gonna look like, etc. And I think that's about it that you would potentially need a uh, roof, things of that nature. Um, the only other thing is a ceiling opening really comes in handy. So let's do a ceiling opening. So you go back to 2D mode to do this, and you're gonna we're gonna put a, this here, push and hold, uh, ceiling opening. Let's make sure we're on the first floor. We're drawing it on the floor. Let's just make a giant like ceiling opening. Let's get the, we'll make it odd shaped. All right, let's go in and see what she looks like. All right, now we got an opening to the ceiling. So look at it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that is huge. And that's how that is done. I'm going to see from the top, come up, look over. You can see the downstairs. A lot of elements that you may want. You know, I'm dropping, just dropping random things are all over here. There's just lots of lots of stuff here. If you want to make a kitchen, they got this all this kitchen stuff. So, um, here, let's put a kitchen over here. I think there's a bathroom bath actually, um, but let's say I want to put some things in the walls. Oops, that's in the ground. Get rid of that. Here we go. Let's put that there, and this shelf here. Anyway, you can just kind of look and move things around, and that's flying. It's actually flying. Oops. Anyway, that's about it. That'll, that should get you started, okay? Best thing to do is once you get a basic shape, then you can decorate by just experiment with things, and it's, it's crazy how things can look so different depending on what you do watching the cost so if I decided ceiling tiles that's what it would look a polished floor tile wall tiles are really expensive so you can kind of see like oh if I spent a lot of money and put floor tiles what would that look like and it's really crazy how colors instantaneously affect the vibe and the feel of a room that's what I think and you guys stumble on this video and you don't like it I don't care you can eat it it was for free I made this for a friend okay I will talk to you later. I'm done.